Hello again, good afternoon to you. Welcome to business. Now, to see your company thrive and move to become a multinational owners from the very beginning must integrate systems that must be adhered to at all times. This is the comment coming from CEO of multinational firm Activa Insurance, who believes that such systems prevent the business from dying out. CEO of Activa Insurance, Solomon Lati, was speaking on Thought Leadership Show, the Executive Lounge with Inshirado. You should have systems because your, the culture of the firm or the organization would evolve around the kind of systems you have. Mm. If you don't have systems and systematic ways of doing things, and you do things in, a, in an ad hoc way, you won't have a proper... It means your culture mm -hmm. is ad hoc, so you can't do things right. So the first thing we do is to have effective systems. Of course, we also have very strong corporate um, corporate governance principles that we stick to. Of course, if it's an international organization, there's a group structure, you have to stick to corporate governance. So um, those are the main things. Then beyond that, bring it, it down, we use systems. You have a, a staff manual, and a writing manual, reinsurance guidelines, there are guidelines to do everything, and then people will have to go through that. So uh, I, I would say it's systems that we use to manage those things. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you're, you can have a vision. You can have a, uh, a good uh, policy or product. You won't be able to bring it out because your people cannot follow you. And so the thing that kills companies, first of all, if you don't have a good corporate governance principle, you, you would go down. If you don't have systems and the right kind of leadership, the MD can be the best in the world. If the, if the midfield is not good, forget it. And then the defense. Mm -hmm. If you have claims people who are forging claims and condoning and conniving with people, then you will have leakages. So it's a whole um, structure. All right, so you can watch a full interview tomorrow on the Executive Lounge on Joy News at 6 p.m. Also in this bulletin, Executive Secretary of the Ghana Association of Savings and Loans Company, uh, Trinibu Akudia, has expressed confidence the decision by the Bank of Ghana and the World Bank to support insolvent savings and loan companies in the country will boost the sector's activities to build the economy. He believes savings and loans institutions are pivotal to the growth of the financial sector and welcomes any help to deal with financial gaps in small and medium scale enterprises. He was responding to an assertion by the Deputy Finance Minister Charles Edubwahi that the government has finalized moves with the World Bank to support insolvent savings and loans companies. Very grateful um, about whatever is happening in the space and um, some of the critical areas that were raised also we are also following up especially with uh, business models that some of these financial institutions are running you need to look at how sustainable they are of course we are also concerned about the depositor and that um, we are assured that the depositor is safe doing business with savings and loans companies and other non-bank financial institutions with these assurances. We are very confident that um, the right thing will be done and that going forward we are sure that um, the regulators will continue to engage with the players so that there will not be a lot of surprises in the system, making sure that the system is safe and sound so that everybody can go about doing his business well um, for the benefit of the whole economy. But are, are you ready to crack the whip before the regulator chases you as an association? Actually, there are a lot of things going on. Um, those who are not um, uh, operating within the rules of the game, um, we've, we've done what we, we could. And of course, going forward um, with the kind of engagement we're having with the regulators, um, if you belong to the association, then you need to behave right and make sure that the right thing is done and continue to be done. And so we are very confident going forward. Meaning that you welcome the current happenings that is the regulator want to clean up the financial sector, especially with the savings and loans? Um, is it about you, 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 you disagree? It's not about you disagree or you agree. The bottom line is that what is needed to be done we are confident that the various actions taken by the regulator to ensure the financial industry is safe and sound, everybody should embrace it 
uh, so that we all play our part in making sure that a sound and safe uh, financial industry is achieved. That's all in business for now. Come your way shortly with the marketplace. My name is Manu Apuachi. We are free. Have a good afternoon.